Uh, Thank you, the Buck. weather. Uh, we can all agree that uh, tomorrow is a special day, correct? Oh, yes. It's Willie Mays' 90th birthday, oldest living Hall of Famer. But, uh, you know, Willie brings a smile to my face because I had a chance to meet and know Willie. But I want to take you through some video because some of you youngsters out there, as Willie said, you didn't see me play. <laughs> <laughs> but every time I've got a chance to spend time with him, here we're in New York at, over by the old polo grounds and took his uh, World Series trophy over there and he signed, talked to all the kids. But let's go back and see what Willie Mays looked like when he was in his heyday. Because, Buck, you're going to eat this up. I love the old time video. Is that a oh. swing or what? That's a four Hummer game in Milwaukee that he hit. That's back. I love, I love how he a little stick. spin coming out of there. Watch him spin just oh. a little bit. He, he just. I, I don't, it's a, it's amazing. It's a beautiful swing, the power. But I mean, you're thinking about 660 home runs, and he missed two years for military service. He was incredible. But he could run the bases. He could throw. He did everything that you have to do. But he was a superstar. But I, I, I think when I'm, when I think of Willie Mays and get a chance to talk about him and what he meant and the impact of, of, of he did on the sport, talking with him, spending time with him. Playing for Leo DeRosa was so important to Willie because he let him be himself. And he said, Willie, let Willie make out lineups sometimes. He let him talk about situations, right? Here's the catch that everybody talks about. And the catch was amazing because he the went throw. Long But Willie said, I did that all the time. How about this catch right here? <laughs> That's playing with Bobby Bonds out there. But look at him run. I mean. What an athlete. And if you think about the time he's playing in, all right, I just brought this clip up so you guys can see this. This is Roy Campanella at home plate. And guess who's going to come in and argue that was playing third that day? Yeah, that's Jackie Robinson. All right? I have never seen that. This is unbelievable. And then you have this, this, this core. You've got Jeez. Banks, Robinson, Aaron, and Mays. And they carried the torch for so many years. But Willie was different. He, he took himself to another level because of things like this. He would do this before he'd go play a major league game. Can you imagine a major leaguer in his neighborhood saying, let's go play some stickball. And then afterwards, let's go have some ice cream. No problem, it's on me, I got you. He'd do this on a daily basis. So when we went to New York and I got a chance to go to the neighborhood and he said, here's where I live, right down here. Kids come knock on my window. Willie, you coming out, you coming out? When I first saw Willie Mays when I was in the minor leagues, it's the basket catch. I mean, it is so pretty. But this right here, I come out to the giant spring training camp. We're playing them in instruction league, and he's teaching Chili Davis fly balls in center. And it's Willie Mays with the basket catch. We dropped what we were doing and ran out to center field to say hi to Willie Mays. And it was the coolest. I mean, how smooth. That's like, a, that's like watching Isaac Smith take ground ball. Yeah. On a fly ball. But it was the, the charisma, the just the... A true superstar. And I think to grasp how great he was, and Buck, you can chime in and talk about this, but the time and the era that he grew up in, the athletes were so important. But baseball, Willie made the Birmingham Barons in high school. <laughs> there wasn't no football. There wasn't the NFL, all that. And then he headed to the Negro Leagues to play. The collection of the athlete, when you look at him pictures, mm. that's an athlete. He would have been a running back. He'd have been a, anything you wanted to in, in today's modern okay, sport. This is what you tell me not to do, but I'm going to act like I don't know the answer. You ever talk to him about where did the basket catch come from? Like, I, wh wh you know, I'd like to know how that got from conventional to I'm going to catch it here. Well, Sean Because I tried that. Us. Huh? <laughs> Sean a tried can it. of corn is what Sean Casey knows. I do not know where that I, came I, I, from. That was just a flare. He, he learned out. how to play baseball from his dad. And, and thank goodness that DeRosha didn't try to take that away and say, let's be conventional. Yes. You know, that's, I get a lot of players, especially the kids from Latin America. The worst thing you can do for them is try to make them, like you said, Americanized. You know, that's, that's who they are. That's mm -hmm. how they play the game. Yeah. Hey, he catches it one-handed. He can't play like that. Oh, yes, he can. Let's let him fail there first before we go the other direction. I, I just... That was, I, that I just was got, my, the highlight of the show. Was I, I got, and we've had a great show. So we're coming on in Tampa, the Rays. Every time you leave at night, there's a black and white photo of Willie Mays with this... Harold, I don't know how. He had the tightest crease in these pants, a shirt that was down like this. You're talking about clean. And I used to stop and go, man. You know, and think about it, back then, I guarantee you he ironed those pants and that shirt before he went to the yard every day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was tight. He was a celebrity. He was bigger than just a baseball star. He was a national celebrity.